actually. It's already. Oh, I forgot. I don't have to match. <gasps> All right, T. <tea. laughs> that sounded extremely English. What? Uh, that sounded very like UK. It is. Yeah. On purpose. Hi, everyone. We're back with. We're back. We're back. We are back. This is okay. our second episode in yeah. the flesh. In the actual. Yeah, yeah right. in the flesh. Oh, I've done an episode with Dill before and it's funny because the other one was also about dating. But that oh, one wow. was boys versus girls dating experiences mm. oh, yeah, yeah. and the stories. Yeah. But now we're continuing it and the audio is going to be better now because we're not in two different places. Yeah. Dill has a YouTube channel. I'll put it down below. And Appreciate. he's visiting New York. This is his first time in America. And so since he's here, we decided to take advantage of doing an episode. And we're doing a part two to the dating thing. And this is dating controversies. And I've done this before. This is part two of that series as well. But this time we get a boy's perspective and the female perspective. Okay, but before we get into that, Hilo Buffalo. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go high, high, low, low, buffalo, buffalo. And you're yeah. going to go first because you're the guest. My high is 100% simple. I already know what it is. No, you don't. Okay, Slim gems. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? The Slim gems. Fuck, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly, when I tried that fucking pepper. Yeah, he it, just had wow. it. Wow. Unreal. Yeah, so and he was literally like whipping it around like a fucking weirdo. Oh, okay. <laughs> you were literally like this. I was like, don't do that. Yeah, no, yeah. honestly, okay, I'm gonna be serious like that. Slim Jim was up there, but my high is obviously meeting you in real life. Really? Yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> what, would, what was your first impression? Wait, I actually, uh, well, I want to know. Yeah. I'll say your my first impression okay. of you. I was I came out of the airport because <laughs> I'd just gone through kind of a bad baggage reclaim situation. Okay. Um, but anyway, I, I walked through. I was trying to find Annie. I was like. Like, where are you? Like, because you said you were gonna be at the, that specific point. Yeah. Didn't know where you were. Turned around and you had a camera. I was like, ah, shit, that's her. Yeah. There was no first impression because I kind of. You just only you. saw a camera. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. yeah. He thought I was five foot six. Yeah. But I'm not. I'm five foot seven. <laughs> Anyways, you're my first impression of you. I actually okay. have one because oh, wow. you're different. You look different than you are online. You know that, right? Like no. no one looks exactly the same. It's like 2D versus 3D. You look the same. No, I think you look. What, you get the versus... full vibe of the outfit. Oh right, yeah. Like yes, it's yeah. not the same. I think you. Is that a good thing or bad thing? You you are very European. Like okay. you yeah. come off European. What does that even mean? Like I need to understand. You just what gave that... a vibe. I just knew you were a tourist. Well, yeah, of course. But like, what is the what is the vibe that makes me a tourist? Just want to. I think it's because like Americans are more messier. Like we don't really stand as straight. Do you think I stand straight? Yeah, you're just very, like, more, like, proper. Oh, that's so good. That's actually... My, yeah. I've been working on my posture. Really? Yeah, because I have a posture thing for my chair. Oh, okay, that's Because, like, my... I don't what wanna... a good compliment. Yeah, that's what I didn't even I, No need one to. notices. I did notice. You actually yeah. have really good posture. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's actually an extremely... Yeah. I'm just saying good for the camera. Because... Uh, <laughs> I'm just no, kidding. because I'm being... No, I'm serious. actually I being actually serious. Bought, I bought myself... I legit think you have better posture than most people. Wow. I think posture is important for your back I think health. so. Yeah. I do. I do notice that because I think it's more often than not that people have bad posture. Mm. My high was hosting last night. Oh. I, oh, I've yeah. talked about this before, but I don't even look at sorry, me like sorry, that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into that. <laughs> Why are we getting into that? <laughs> okay, just continue. Continue as your high. Anyways, yeah, I love hosting because I love seeing people that I care about enjoy mm -hmm. something that I like caused i've talked about this before but it was really cool this time specifically because i actually pretty much warmed my house like i had a mm. housewarming like so many people visited for a party kind of situation yeah. and it was weird to have like two worlds collide like an online mm. world and you meeting my friends and vice versa yeah that's true that's very true because yeah. to be honest with you like i'm like it's it's so strange right and i always deep this because I only technically met you on YouTube. Right? Yeah, we knew each other for so many months. Yeah, and in we April, like April, I think. Yeah, and we only talked on YouTube. We've literally met on the YouTube yeah. comment section. And now you're in my freaking I'm apartment. I'm literally meeting her in real life. Beep. Yeah, and See? you slept on my couch. Exactly. So like, <laughs> this is what I mean. It's it's crazy the it's fact so that. It's so weird. Like yeah, this is like it's just it's weird so because weird. I'm from the UK. She's obviously from New York. Um, New York. New York, and um, I just yeah, I just think it's. The power of the internet is insane. But then it's also, you've got to be careful. Like, we're just going to be, like, put out there. What does that mean? Does that mean you have to no, be careful of you? 
<laughs> I mean, maybe I'll when the camera turns off. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It, this is going to blow up if I actually die, no, but no, they're going to okay. know it's you. No, no, no. Because what if, like, okay, touch wood, that never happens. And then it's suddenly, like, people blame me because of this video. Nah, we're not doing the touch, definitely in touch wood. It's okay. even wood. It is wood. There's plaster, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Can you please stop knocking? <laughs> You're low. Yeah, it's a, the, the, I told you this already. What Do you know what it is? Are you going to say t- last the, night? No, 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 it wasn't actually. That's not my low for me. Um, What's your low? My low was definitely the, the patch dealing with that cellar. Like, yeah, that was, I, I, I was sound? getting upset too. But you, you I was getting upset hearing what you had to do. And I was huh. getting upset reading your emails. Yeah, the, that guy was just so annoying. Yeah, you know what the first problem was? Mm. Was his name being Ashley. That was the first problem. Okay. We, that was the That's red crazy. flag. Really? Yes. So many guys-, guys named... <laughs> Any Americans listening to this, do we call our guys Ashley? If you're a guy and your name's Ashley, I'm so sorry. But that is not a thing in America. Okay. In all fairness, I can see where you're coming from. I, I, I can kind of understand. Like this. Ash. No, but so, so Ashley is a unisex name. Well, That's at not- least in the UK, right? So I actually know a few people who are guys. I actually know more guys called Ashley than girls. <laughs> I only know girl Ashleys. <laughs> that is kind of wild. But yeah, it's a unisex name. Like, it's not that deep. I didn't make it deep. No, sorry. When I say that, it's like UK slang. Yeah, yeah, versus, yeah. Yeah, we got, I got to teach you. You want to tell them what happened? You didn't uh, yeah, tell I them? I mean, without going, because it's a long story. But yeah, just say basically, guys. I wanted to get this embroidery patch. Uh, for I'll put her it on birthday. the screen. Yeah. So I had to get the hoodie and that's completely fine because it's just from a... I'm not going to reveal where it's from because it's like... Yeah. I, I kind of want to gatekeep it even though it's extremely popular. Um, actually, no, fuck that. It's from Abercrombie. <laughs> um, it's one of the best hoodies. So, I so light. It's so like a it's cloud. Taking your mukbang. Sorry, yeah. keep going. And the badge, I wanted to get, obviously, her podcast logo printed off. So embroid- cool. Embroidered. But yeah. this seller on Etsy didn't send it to me on time and I thought I was going to get it when I'm in New York so I thought I was going to lose, lose out on that situation but luckily I don't know what happened the universe saw and they just <laughs> delivered it to me on the last few hours before my flight that's actually insane so I had to, yeah it was just a long story anyway it's all good but that was yeah. low it was it was so cool but I hated the email like the way that that seller messaged you I would have been pissed mm, all caps there. all caps guys what kind of when do you use all caps in a professional setting never yeah it was extremely that's like me talking to you one of his responses was yay like y-e that was his yeah. response yeah oh yeah, yeah text like that i text like that to you that's weird no but that's a text a that's what i'm saying that's yeah. why it shouldn't be in a professional setting yeah yeah yeah. that's okay. true damn yeah you are actually now that i deep that you do text like that yeah you just remind me of ashley that's not a good thing my low is, I didn't tell you this, when I got back from my 10-day trip to LA, I, you know, walked into my home, so excited to be back in New York, and then I'm like, I need to take a shower, because it's disgusting after going to the airport, walk into the bathroom, and I'm like, stand there, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna take a shower. I turn my head, look down, it's a fucking cockroach. Oh, wow. This motherfucking big. I don't do cockroaches. Like, mm. I don't know how to kill them, but it was already dead. Right. But the reason why we have cockroaches is not because I'm dirty. You know I'm not dirty. Yeah, she thought she was You clean. can, yeah, you can definitely yeah. validate it. I'm like, she kind of crazy. Maybe a bit too clean. Yeah, I am too clean. But that's why I was like, no, this is a man's kind of situation. This is not for me. And I was pissed, but I basically picked it up. And when I picked it up, it crunched. And then one of its oh. legs fell oh. off. Damn. Yeah, but I was screaming. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. fuck. I was like, oh my God. And I was freaking out. But the reason why we have cockroaches, it's not like a common thing. That's the second cockroach I've ever seen. Um, is because this building, it's a sewage cockroach. Oh. So it's like a type of cockroach you only get in the sewage. So it comes up the drain. So it comes up, yeah, the drain or like wow. in the walls. Wow. And so if you have it in the building, yeah. okay. then it doesn't have to be you that's sturdy. But it will come through. Someone else's yeah. there's a connection. So but yeah. thank God it was dead. Like if it was live yeah, and I was by myself, I think you wouldn't even have a couch to sleep yeah, on. Yeah, you know, we wouldn't yeah. be living. Like yeah. I wouldn't be living here. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, I would have moved out. My, Your buffalo. My buffalo. Now okay. the buffalo. Yeah, the buffalo. I think my buffalo was today. <laughs> the fucking marathon. Wait, that's my buffalo too. 
Oh, is it? I, okay. No, 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 wait, wait, oh, you're you. gonna leave me hanging. I'm just like high five in this. <laughs> <laughs> wait, let me show you. Let me show you what I wrote. Yeah. Marathon, and I put an arrow. Oh, okay, buffalo. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Why? Why was that your buffalo? It the was weird just thing so that weird. Happened. Why is everyone so gassed about running? That's what I'm like, saying. This is what I was so upset about, like, and you just heard me be so savage in the car. Like no, I understand. Like I've seen marathons, running for the Olympics, all that stuff, right? And I get that. But New York and this street marathon thing, everyone was like so invested. They had cardboard cutouts of their friends' faces, which I appreciate their support. Yeah, I would but love that. But it's way too intense. <laughs> like I, I'd never seen people this gassed about running. No, guys, and running. Not athletes. They're not athletes. Yeah, right? I know. Normal people. No, these are normal people. But I have to say. Running is so terrible for so many reasons. And now I have another reason to add. Yeah. I was telling Doe, why does a marathon take so much physical space? No. I think that humans should be running in a track in circles up until they hit the 26 point whatever crap miles. Like, why are you running in the streets? I got to go somewhere. We couldn't eat. It was right yeah. in front of my freaking apartment. We were hanging on by a thread for other reasons. We're hanging on by a thread. I was trying to get to my apartment. Imagine your home right there and you just need to get into the home and I needed to piss. Yeah. I was that was the hardest part. I was yeah. just, I was like ready to get inside and pee. A stupid ass marathon straight in front of your apartment. Can't even go in because there's barricades. It was long. It made all the bus routes change. So I was so confused. I like didn't even know where to take us because everything was going yeah. the wrong direction and then i was like how are we gonna get there but we took an uber and it was fine but it was like literally the the road before your house it was that was the only barrier we just needed to walk yeah like literally meters, one block right yeah from my house just to get there but we ended up spending like an hour trying to get back because <laughs> it was long yeah but you're a good sport so that no, was fun that's fun you're such a liar it, it was i was cursing terrible. every runner but yeah you were you like i today i understand how much she hates runners yeah runners. if you're a runner ick red flag okay anyways let's get into the topic Before we start so i have this part i didn't tell you about but we've talked about this topic before and we're going to start off in the same yeah. ground. But then over time, we're going to obviously disagree because these are controversial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to start on the same ground because I know we agree on this statement because we've talked about it. Okay. So basically, we have this opinion that one of the most difficult things about dating right now and most annoying part of it is that when you're dating someone, the other person usually doesn't actually know what they want out of a dating and like in general, mm -hmm. like the whole concept of dating. Why are they dating in the first place? Not like what, what they want from a person, mm -hmm. but like, why are they even pursuing dating mm -hmm. at all? We think you need to get that point down in order for you to know what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. But because people don't know that you just end up having people like dating for stupid reasons and not choosing the right person. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. And you waste time, right? Yeah. I don't think people think about that that much, like no. the reason why. And I, to be honest with you, like I was also that person. I was too. But I think that was me in my early 20s. Mm -hmm. I'm 25, by the way. So I've just hit 25, mid 20s. But in my early 20s, I definitely was that kind of guy, especially That's how every guy is. Yeah. Early 20s. Yeah. Most guys. Um, but that's also not, not understanding yourself, I think. Because... Yeah. If you don't know what you want, then how are you going to expect to have a relationship between two people Yeah, that will last long? But I also just think in general, you just don't ask that question. Like yeah. I've never asked like, what's the pur purpose of having a partner? Yeah. It's like people are always like asking, why do we want kids? But no one asks like, why do you want? to yeah. have a relationship it's because we go based on feeling most of the time yeah you don't like logically so you, think about yeah. it in your and life i'm not saying you should always go like logically of course like emotions and feelings is, is good but you have to you have to have a balance of both i think like you have to have logic behind an intention yeah right that's it like all you have to just ask is why that's that simple yeah but people just don't. Maybe we just don't. Yeah. Because we go by oh like oh my god she's so hot or something mm -hmm. or like i want to be in that relationship she a baddie she's a baddie. Um, <laughs> I want to be in that relationship just because 
I feel good. Yeah. Or like I feel something that I want to get. Yeah. Or you're just lonely. It. Or you just. Yeah. Or you're feeling you, a void. You're freaking horny. <laughs> literally that. So no, like literally. It, yeah, Actually, brilliant. though, I remember you said your reasons because you wanted like a companion. Like yeah, something yeah, like that, yeah, companionship. Yeah. I, I think for me, it's personally like just want to grow with someone. Like, I, I just view life as a story. But why can't you grow with your your friend? Like that's the thing. I feel like who, okay. So with a friend, friend, you can grow with friends, hundred okay. percent. But it's a different type of relationship. Okay, so you want to grow with somebody, like, but in a different way. So I view life like literally like a story okay so like there's chapters in your once life once upon time yeah like there's this. a boy named dill basically what i'm trying to say is each person you yourself yourself annie as well we have our own stories to say right yeah and i think the people that you decide to keep in your life are extremely meaningful so your friends and stuff and you want to be able to grow with them yeah the same way you want to be able to grow with your family the same way you want to be able to grow with basically a significant other it's so, different levels of growth Per different people. But do you think that a significant other is required then? No, not at all. Okay, so then why I don't, are they... I don't, no, genuinely speaking, I don't think you need to have a... Okay, then what... Then I'm confused. Okay, the reason why I would like to yeah. have one is because I just... I don't know, I like having a person. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just, the thing I that you like did say. Having a per- you yeah. want a person. I yeah. just like having... I don't know, personally, I just like being able to speak to someone, yeah. them to speak to me, yeah. do stuff with... I just like sharing that, in, in, if that makes sense. Like yeah, sharing but in a life. different way, like in a, with a different type of person. Yeah, with a different like type, a different type of relationship. Because you, you can be intimate with that person yeah, as yeah, well, yeah. right? You can't yeah. really be intimate with friends like that. Like that, you know? yeah. I talked about this in my... I don't know if you watched the oh, my, last... My plane Wi-Fi was so bad. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, well, I've talked about this in my last episode yeah, okay. of the lessons that I learned at 23. Because when you asked me that question, like, I was thinking about that, but you worded it really well. Like, when we were talking oh, about nice. it, I was like, oh, that's the thing I was trying to say. Like, that's the problem. Because I was journaling about it. And I was like, what is it? Like, that's the issue. Yeah. And then you were like, it's because people don't know why they want to date in the first place. And I was like, oh, that's what it is. That's what I was trying to say in my journal. And then I was like, do I even know myself? And so then I was like, is my answer right? Like, is that yeah. actually fully correct? And so I, that's what I was talking about in my 23rd video. And I'm not going to say it here, so you guys have to watch that video. <laughs> it's actually the last lesson I learned oh, wow. in that episode. Oh, you have okay. to watch the whole thing okay. to find out. Yeah. Watch I know I'm leaving the goods at the end it's on purpose um okay anyways ready for the controversy yeah, that's good. That's good. all right we already started disagreeing by the end right there what, um, oh yeah kind of yeah. but in the beginning we yeah. were yeah okay do you think there is the one no okay so what I don't think there's the one so you just have multiple people yeah I think to be honest with you mm. I think the one is just an idea, right? Huh? It's, it's an idea. Like, it's it's given to you when you were young. For example, oh, yeah. like, we watch Disney films. Disney, and there's, like, the one. There's, like, we watch every romantic movie. We all yeah. feel good about that. It, it's a good feeling because yeah. it paints a picture of, like, oh, like, there is someone out there that matches you completely. Mm. No, there isn't. In the reality of the world, it's not like that. And it's kind of sad to say that, I think, because... I mean, because like the feeling of the one is so good and yeah, like yeah. it's romanticizing it's an ideology. That's why. Yeah, exactly. That's so I is. think it's not necessarily the one, it's the one that you are happy or you want to commit to, to grow with. Everyone has flaws. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. Everyone it's just flaws. whoever you choose. It's whoever you choose to but be the one. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. But it's not like there's the one okay, for that's, you. There's that's, no like. Yeah by fate like there's like yeah. per- this person came onto this earth for you that's it's, what you, no, that's I don't, what you so. don't believe I, yeah. not at all I mean yeah no it's just the one that you want to be commit to so you don't believe in like multiple people you believe in the one the you person want. you choose to commit to yeah 100% okay. because if you think about it everyone has flaws okay like everyone has flaws and everyone has their good yeah. stuff and you can definitely be very close to a person in terms of similarities mm mm-hmm. But they're always going to have flaws and you need to realize, okay, I got to love them for their flaws as well as love them for who they are. Yeah. So as in like for their their highs or whatever. Yeah. So it's like loving someone for who they actually are. Yeah. That's what I believe in. Like if you truly know that person, you know yourself. Yeah. That is it. Let's say you choose that they are the one and you accept their flaws. But what happens if they 
Oh no, that doesn't make sense anymore. Do you have criteria to choose the one? Is that what you're trying to say? Or what happens if they break the rules? Not the rules, but like they break your expectations. Yeah, yeah. Like what if they don't grow with you? Like, yeah, I mean, but you choose to commit to them. You no, chose to that, no, you chose in a specific moment in time. So again, we operate in phases. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right? You're, right, you're right. You're right. We operate in phases. I see what you're saying. So yeah. you choose at the commit at that moment in time, but you need to really understand, like, okay, you need to understand that person's flaws and their yeah. Their okay, I got it. Got and it. And then if they do something completely out of line, yeah. Right. That's the change of character. Yeah. Obviously, like talk about that and confront it. Mm-hmm. But if it's something that you just cannot Handle. commit to because yeah. it's just not like, for example, cheating. Yeah. Right. That like if you just cannot go ahead with that, mm-hmm. then definitely for the best of yourself. Yeah. Just let go. But do you think you would? Would you hang on to somebody if no. they cheat? Okay. No. No. So, no, yeah. no. so there are like there is. That's why a I, that, threshold. That's why I don't believe in the one because if you have the ideology of there's always going to be the one, then I think like it's the attachment to that person. Mm, yeah. You're so attached to someone. Yeah. Attachment is the root of all suffering. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Anything you can yeah, be yeah, attached yeah. to like this thing here and then tomorrow a burglar comes and steals the remote yeah. but you're so attached to it and you the loss of your remote it actually makes you feel bad yeah it's the same thing with the people if you become really attached to someone and let's say these they do something really bad so you have to get get rid of them mm-hmm. or like you have to not have them in your life again yeah that's going to make you feel bad and sad yeah what about you what do you think oh i want to say that but i don't think i'm good at that i want to say you choose a person to commit to but I feel like I changed so much as a person, like throughout my life, that what, who I want to commit to, I don't, I couldn't imagine myself because I can't even commit to anything for that long. It's just because I'm so different that like I just have different opinions later. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Right. So you wouldn't be able to. I don't know. Change with someone. You wouldn't be. I would be able to, but okay. like, in an ideal world, I feel like that makes sense what you're saying. Yeah. But I'm not sure. I think it's because that's you... possible. I'm like a diehard person for my best friend, but I've had so many best friends in my life. Yeah, yeah I mean, same. But like, I I've guess. committed to them. Yeah, I mean, listen, like, you grow in phases. You grow in like time, yeah. I think. And to be honest with you, like, it's just finding that one person that has that same, if, if that's what you like, mm-hmm. would want to be, mm-hmm. if that same kind of mindset as well. Oh, because then it would, it might work like how, out. Yeah, it should do, right? In, yeah. On paper. Well, I mean, I don't know. On paper, yeah. On paper. That's, this is all on paper. I, like, legit don't know. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get that. Let's say you like somebody. Yeah. Right? Do you think it's possible to like someone and be a bad texter? Because sometimes they're like, oh, no, he really likes me. He's just a bad texter. Like, um, but then nah, I'm like, nah, bro, don't you, so. don't you want to talk to the yeah, person you... I, I personally think if you like them, you, you won't be a bad texter. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't think so. Guys, I've been trying... I think it's me, like, trying to... Giving guys yeah. excuses, but... And a lot of people do it. Where they're like, oh, he's, they're just bad at texting. They're not going to be on their phone that often. Mm-hmm. Oh, hell no. Yeah. I don't think so. No. I think you... I think if you like a person enough... Yeah. Don't... Like, you like them. You yeah, want to be with them. That's no, what it means to yeah, like them. Uh, yeah, I agree. Like, to be honest with you, like... Like, the way I text certain people does yeah. actually change. Yeah. Like, low-key. Even though I do text it's the same way yeah but there are certain nuances right yeah no yeah i think if you are somebody who's talking to somebody and or you're trying to figure out if they like you or not and they suck at texting Mm. i don't think they like you that's all i gotta say yeah i I probably just mic drop i wouldn't drop this mic but just saying it was a mic oh wait please don't drop the mic i'm not gonna drop the mic it's your mic mic. (laughs) (laughs) easy 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 we're starting good we're aligned so far are we actually yeah, we just yeah. agreed. Yeah, we did actually. Well, did you think I was going to disagree? I don't know. I haven't oh, found okay. out until I start saying it. Oh, okay, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Do you believe in dating within a friend group? So you have a core friend group. Yeah. Do you think it's a good idea? I mean, I've done that. <laughs> that would literally. Would what be. is your opinion of it? Yeah. Um, would you do it again? Because the weird thing is, what happens? Nah, it like I ruins dynamics. Yeah, it, it, I mean, definitely did. It like did. none of my friends. Yeah. And what, so, yeah, yeah. I I don't know. I, I personally would just because of my previous experiences. I probably wouldn't date in a friendship group. Yeah. Oh, that's a tough one then. Like if I really felt like a compatible. Yeah. Then what? That's what I'm trying to ask you. If I really felt like I was going to be compatible, 
Because then you'd be like, they're the one. Like, yeah. they're your person that you're committing. And then I probably would. But you have to hope that that person actually commits to you. Because that would but, suck. But you would have to. You would have to have the talk right away. We're getting married or our friend group is out the door. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. If you don't say yes to my proposal right yeah. now. What about you? Do you think you can? I've never done it. But I've liked people in my friend group before. And I stop because of that. Like, I don't yeah, date okay, them okay. because then I'm scared. Like, mm. I, I value my friendship yeah. so much. As an introvert, like, I don't have... Like, I keep my close friends close. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so they're in my life for a reason. I don't want them to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so if this relationship is going to stand in the way, then I'm always a bros before hoes. So I will control myself. Okay. So yeah. it's the bros. That's Choose good. the bros. Oh, no, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. It's a good yeah. answer. But it's hard. Yeah, it's not the. Yeah, the it's one. not very fun. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. just gonna say that. <laughs> okay, what's the next one? Okay, what do you think is the time period, like ideal time period, of talking on the dating apps before you actually meet them in person? Oh, I personally like I literally as soon as possible. Okay, why? Like literally ASAP, because for me, like I can never like have actual conversations on text and I don't believe in it. Well, I feel like you're a good texter. Really? How do you, how else have we talked to each other? We've yeah, literally yeah. only texted. True, true, true. No, We would like, not be friends like this if yeah, we didn't text. That's true, that's true. But like, like I mean, I, I don't think texting would get me anywhere, like to be mm. honest. Like I, with, even with like, like dating, dates and stuff, I would arrange a date like within the week. Of, okay. Of actually matching that person or someone. Matching person talking. Yeah, talking like literally. If you looked at my like messages, like that week needs to happen. It will be like, like l on one page. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. it will be like, yep, yep, yep. WhatsApp question mark. That's all I do. Oh, okay. And then you and go then on the date. WhatsApp, and you can give them a call, which I yeah. like to do sometimes. Just call, and then you just go on a date. Okay. Yeah. So, so that week. That week for me, like, because okay. the, the point is to meet them in real life mm -hmm. and to actually have a like a face to face or human to human interaction. Mm -hmm. And then you can be like, okay, cool. Like this person's actually cool. Like I want to yeah. talk more or we just are not aligned. Yeah. Because that way you both don't waste time. Okay. I think it's different for a girl. Yeah. Because we're, we're like safety. Yeah. yeah safety no, no, first. I can actually understand that. So yeah. I, I want to say as soon as possible too, if I were a guy, but because I've had experiences where the text seems really good mm. and the guy so catfished like mm. it's insane like i'll text them and i'll be like oh my god like we're getting we're hitting it off like okay. this is crazy like yeah. i'm having full conversations like every day and like i meet them and it's like whoa like i would it's never nice, like you yeah, yeah i remember you telling me this story yeah yeah. yeah 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 okay yeah which yeah. is crazy because i really love talking to him but it, it just i was not attracted to him mm. well that's the thing you wasted a bit of time i guess yeah yeah. But it was like not wasted. Like you yeah. learned something. Yeah, I did learn yourself, something. Right? Yeah. Ideally, I would say how many days of talking. So like, let's say like you, even though it's been a week, like if you only talked, talk two days, that's mm -hmm. two, days. two days. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? But I'm going to say like four days of talking okay. because I think that's enough time to see if they're weird or like some, like Something that's like enough time for like some red flag to come out. You can also see if they're like generally a good texture. Yeah. I, I just think like if they, cause when you're on dating apps, I'm pretty sure this is how it works, that you'll match with people, but there's obviously a ranking within the matches of yeah. what you think personally, like this person's way cuter and like I'm more attracted. Well, that's the thing. That's how it differs from a girl and a guy. What? Because girls have more flexibility. Okay. So in my case, this yeah. is what I'm doing. Yeah. And so I'll text the people that I like more. And so I kind of like see that when a guy texts me. And if like they're kind of texting me more, I feel like they're more attracted to me. Mm. I can get that vibe in four days. Really? That's but I don't think more than that. I think beyond that, then I'm just like wasting my time. Yeah. Yeah. I just need to meet them because mm. it doesn't tell me much. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. It's true. No, it's, it's all about meeting them and actually understanding yeah. who they are. Yeah. Face to face. Texting does jack shit. Yeah. Nothing. Try the calling though. The calling works. It's not bad. I calling. don't think I like it. Or like voice notes. I do that a lot. Um, yeah, but you know what would suck is like calling them and then hearing their voice. I don't like high pitched you're gonna, voices. You're going to end up being with them in the end anyway. I know it's true. Like you, you could be really cute and like have a yeah. really high pitched voice and I yeah. just couldn't. Just like, yeah. I couldn't. I'd be like. Fuck this. 
And then I would start running. And yeah. I hate running. I would start she fucking running. running. Yeah, running. I'd run in that marathon. That is a wild <laughs> thing to say for you. So. I'm kidding. I would not. Yeah, I'm just joking. That's a little running. extreme. I'd run in the marathon if you like cheated on me. You'd run to catch them. Yeah. Yeah. To catch them uh. for sure. Okay, so you're dating your significant other now. How many times do you think is reasonable for seeing them? Oh, this is a great question. Mm -hmm. Because I talk about this a lot with my friends. Yeah. I think it really depends on the person. Okay, so... As in, like, on the person, on the... Like, for example, me, my answer will be different to, like... Yeah, I know. So I just customers. want to hear what would you say. My personal answer yeah. is, like, at this moment in time, mm. I would say... Obviously, I want to see them often. Yeah. But I would actually say once every two weeks to a month. Jeez. It's fine. That is so little. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good. That's good once. that you think that. Okay. Like, like see them. In yeah. Person. Oh, wow. Okay. That's actually insane. Like, you said that. That's pretty good. You want to see them once every two weeks. Two weeks is a big stretch, not going to lie. Like, once every... Like, if they were close to me, like, let's yeah. say they were in the same town. Yeah. Oh, yeah, once every two weeks should be okay, like, every other weekend. Yeah. Or, like, yeah, like, why not? Because that's, that's fine. But once a month would also be very much so happy, like... What the fuck? I thought I was bad. And okay. you're bad. Uh, when you dated... Your exes, this you is, saw them once. Well, this is the one of the reasons I broke up because she wanted to see me every week. She was obsessed with you. Was this the one you really well, liked? Yeah, I actually and you liked her. you really liked her, and but you I still had didn't... to let her go because I like you I needed have, you had priorities. I had well, yeah, and she was a priority as well. But like, it was just it didn't match. Like, yeah, yeah. So obviously, she wanted once a week, and this is a, I had to drive if I wanted to do it. I had to drive two hours. By the way, honestly, I'd do it. You'd do it. You'd drive. Mm -hmm. I used to drive all the time for the guys I dated. Yeah. They didn't drive to me. Well, no, no, she couldn't drive. I, I said once a month and then that's when it went bad. So oh, you told her? Yeah. And she was like, no. Yeah. And that's when it was over. Yeah. This is crazy. I, I've never met somebody who said more than, I mean, said less than me. Okay. I think once a week max is good. Oh, once a week? Yeah. That's quite a lot. People see each other several times a week. Yeah, that's what I mean. Sorry, that's what I meant. Yeah, I know, but I only want to see them once a week. Okay, but for me, it's only once every two that's, weeks. Yeah, that's insane. Once in, is that, oh, okay. No, but I, I, I want it to be once a week. You want to have it once a week? Yeah, I want okay. it once a week. Okay. But that's fine, I guess. But yeah. I would say this right now. When I really like somebody, I told you about this guy that oh, I yeah, liked. Yeah, you did say, yeah. And I, even though I said, I am still the girl that was like once a week, I yeah. saw him a lot. Mm -hmm. I saw him like, Two or three times a yeah, week, yeah, yeah. which I was shocked. Like mm -hmm. my friends were shocked. My roommates were like, "What the hell?" And yeah. I was like, "Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but I just like want to see January, him." Right? Like, January, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, "I want to see him," yeah, and yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna see him. I like once a week because I need a break. <laughs> I need a break from oh, people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You like, wanted the detox, like you wanted. Oh the, yeah, yeah, he was. What, oh, that's what it was. He became my break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But then you got addicted to the break. I think. Yeah. Rather than the person. Mm -hmm. well, the person remember, yeah. remember when I was telling you before, before we filmed, we, I was yeah. talking to you about this. I was like, sometimes like a person will come into my, like, I knew he wasn't the one. Like I yeah, actually yeah. was like, I don't oh, know. Really? Yeah. Because I was like, I told you, I was like, why am I not wanting to do anything? Like, why, why do I want to give oh, up on my, on my yeah, passions? Yeah, and I was yeah. like scared. I was like, I'm going to become the most aura points minus a thousand like when i date him because yeah. i'm going to be the most lame person ever yeah. not to say that you can't be cool without passions but i'm just saying like i would have thrown everything out the window like i wouldn't have this podcast i think if i yeah, dated probably, him i probably oh i probably would have uploaded like once a month yeah, and i would have yeah. been so fine tattooing you might have not done i would have never started yeah. i would have been really like well that's the thing and i started getting happy being in corporate like i was like you did yeah yeah, yeah 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 because i had him as a break mm. but then but that's it Remember, I was telling you, yeah, sometimes yeah. I date people because they fit a need. It's convenient. And so that's why I was like, I was yeah. like, I need to see him. Well, that, like, I yeah. liked him a lot. But, and I was like, I really want this to work because I needed, like, it just felt so nice to be with him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But again, it's, it was dating out of convenience. Yeah. It was all because like you had like, I think you were just overwhelmed with work, yeah. just with everything. 
that when that something like that happens comes mm -hmm. into your life you just it's like a rock lift or a weight yeah. off your shoulder we're back i am using jill's camera and we're using <laughs> we're just terrible yeah, we're youtubers just, we did yeah. not even plan ahead pretty much hi guys i look like a hot mess but i'm interrupting this video because i realized i'm missing a clip and it's not in my computer and so I'm going to catch you guys up for the next clip. But essentially, I asked Dill, when is the earliest that you should start dating? And we ended up both agreeing to start dating sometime in high school or college. Not middle school because you're still going, bleh, you're still going through puberty. And so it's safer to start in high school. But also, you should just start in school in general because it's just easier for you to meet people. Especially people that you can get a better sense of before dating since you see them so often in school and you see them every day pretty much, um, which is very different in the real world because things get a little bit more risky out here where you don't exactly know anything about the people that you're meeting in the real world. And also, it's just a really good experience to go through heartbreak, which is exactly what we're about to talk about right now. Yeah. I think a lot of people do regret when they don't get that experience in high school and college. Yeah. Yeah. I think you need a little bit of trauma. That's basically what. And, and you definitely get it when you're you in need high heartbreak. school. You do. I think, I think you need heartbreak before you go into the real world. 100%. Yeah. Heartbreak is genuinely, it's one of the worst things. It's the worst feeling I've ever felt. But it's also one felt. of the best things at the same time. It, yeah. You literally get, you're never the same after heartbreak. What did I just write here? Do you think ghosting is okay? Uh, elaborate. If you ghost somebody. Oh, uh, again, it's like a life experience as well. <laughs> but I don't think it's okay, to be honest. Have I you think done it's it? quite. Probably. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Like in probably at uni or something. But. Like now, would I do it? No, I wouldn't do it now. Mm -hmm. But do you think it's okay? I know, I don't think it's okay. Do you think it's like, so, yeah, okay. Like, like just be up front. Like, okay, this is just not it. Like, okay, okay it's fine. Or like, it depends. Like, let's say you've been talking. Mm -hmm. If it's like first date mm -hmm. and you go, that's still, okay, that's still quite bad. But it's, or like, let's say you just match with someone. Mm -hmm. You had a few messages. Yeah. You didn't meet or anything. Yeah. And then you ghosted. All right, cool. Move on. Like, that's fine. Yeah. But when, let's say, you've had a date or you maybe you've had a few dates mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you've just gone ghost without anything, yeah. I think that's pretty bad. Okay. Because that person needs to have, like, an explanation of at least what happened. Yeah. Quite I, unprofessional. I agree. Yeah. Okay, so I've been noticing, this is my observation, and I've just heard from people that Tinder is typically more successful than Hinge at, like, getting long-term relationships actually off the ground well so yeah. why do you think that would be it's very simple be case? very simple go tinder is the biggest app dating app in the world oh like so you have more options do you know how dating apps work um yeah but so maybe not the we way can, you're we talking can, about we can, we can this do context. this so dating apps most of them are owned by one company so uh -huh. tinder hinge and whatever mm -hmm. they're owned by all one company the match group Google. Whoa! Yeah. Okay. It's called the Match Group. And okay. Holy shit! That's crazy. That's a whole thing because they then Bumble you is, really play the game. Yeah, I think Bumble is is the really the one that's not, oh. but but they are owned by this um, PE firm as well. Uh, but basically, it's all just a money making scheme. Yeah. Right. Of course. It just makes sense, right? So the reason why Tinder would have a better long term uh, success rates isn't necessarily because of the app. It's actually because like the users on mm -hmm. tinder is like sky high compared <gasps> to hinge whoa compared to bumble and everything else because they were they were the first well, one of the first early adopters and they yeah. just absolutely like killed the game you're right you're right that's the reason okay it's i think it's pretty shit to be honest that's crazy i did not i had a different theory okay my yeah, my right. my theory was that because you start off being physically attracted to somebody it's easier for you to get emotionally like invested because you're physically mm. attracted. You usually hook up on Tinder, mm -hmm. and like if you have the sexual attraction, yeah, yeah. it's lost. You, it's easy or yeah, to start lost. things. Yeah, I guess so. It's easy to start things, but never to finish. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's so, why I'm saying why. Why do you think it's more successful? Success, successful in starting relationships. Do you believe in giving somebody a second chance? 
It depends on what the, why you declined the first. Okay, what's your threshold? What's something you would give a second chance? I always to? believe in people. I want to say like I'd, I'd say everyone has the like life experiences can hit someone and they can change, mm -hmm. but do not be ignorant. All right, or oblivious. If they're aware, yeah, like, like if they are self aware and accept it. Yeah, exactly. Do not don't like don't don't basically be be misused. Okay. Would But again, you, it depends. Like, for example, cheating now, wouldn't it? You would never. No. Okay. That's your, your That's, life. That's, yeah. Uh, both emotional and physical cheating. What, uh, what's emotional cheating? It's like, you, they like them and they couldn't help it. No, at that point, you just have to say. Like, I know, I, I can understand that. That's just like on that person. Yeah. And I know you, we've had this conversation yeah, before. We've yeah. had the conversation before. <laughs> I, won't go into I think it. I've talked about this. I, I'll, I'll give you a great example that yeah. just happened to me recently. So I work with a girl mm -hmm. in my. And you're in love with her? No, I'm not. I'm not. She's very pretty. Don't get me wrong. She actually watches my YouTube videos. <laughs> um, but she's no very very nice girl. Very very like good looking as well. But that's besides the point. Actually, why, why am I going? To... Um, the point is, her. She was telling me about her friend. Okay. Who recently? So her friend has a boyfriend. Okay. Okay. But she doesn't really want to be in that relationship, right? So she actually met this guy in New York who she kind of likes. Mm -hmm. So she literally flew from London to New York uh -huh. to go meet him. Yeah. Well, obviously not to do anything or yeah. whatever, just to go meet him. And I, she's still with her boyfriend, by the way. Yeah. And she just wanted to kind of like meet him in real life and like, you know, mm -hmm. try and experience, like actually just... See what he's like. Yeah, in yeah. real life, right? And so... By the time she got back to London, yeah. she told my colleague, oh, he's, like, so much better. Like, mm -hmm. and uh, apparently the first guy isn't great. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, okay? yeah. But she's already having that thought. And that, to me, is complete emotional cheating. Yeah. That should not really... Oh, just the thought. Because it, for me... Whoa. Whoa, what do you mean the thought? Like, just the thought of being like, I no, could like, like you, this person? You literally flew out. Oh, of like, actually acting like, on it. Like, you acted on it. Like, okay, okay, like, okay. But you didn't, it wasn't like, she didn't cheat, technically. Yeah. In that sense, but I think that's kind of cheating. But the thing is, yeah. right, she knew that she liked someone, went out of the way, when you've got a boyfriend, like, just end it. Okay, wait. What happens if you do end up getting feelings for somebody? You can't control it. Yeah. You don't act on it. You don't act on it. Yeah, you okay. don't act on it, and they tell you. Who, who tell? Oh, sorry. They, oh. Your partner tells you, like, I like someone, but I'm not going to do anything about it. Like, are you okay with that? But I just want you to know that oh. I have feelings for somebody else. That's a tough one. And that, I think usually that happens with people that are younger. Yeah. And that's, again, it's going back to our point earlier, like, why you're with that person. Like, you shouldn't be having... Like, yeah, you can find someone attractive. Yeah, you might have a vibe with someone. Mm. But if you really and truly cared about that original person, mm. why would you want to switch like that? If you do, then there's definitely something in the relationship, in your current that relationship, you're, missing. you're either missing or you're not happy with and you've not talked it out. If you can't have conversations with that person, why are you with them? Mm. Right? So clearly you're a mismatch. And again, it goes back to the why. Mm, so it yeah. means you you've got them because you want to solve an underlining issue that's yeah. not related. Which is this is basically where this is why we get annoyed because like these issues come up because you don't know why. Exactly. Yeah. And I think it's all because of, it's not easy to understand the why, but once you do, like, like, yeah. you're so strong in it. I I just think that's the thing. I mean, maybe I'm being idealistic here, but this is exactly how I believe it. Yeah, but I'm I'm nervous about that because it's like, what if you're too logical now? It's not just that. Okay. It's logic and emotion. So you could logically, yeah. that person makes sense, but emotionally you don't feel anything. Why are you with them? Okay. I mean, you have to have a bit of both. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But like, there is a possibility that you logically make sense, but then you emotionally don't like them. So then what... You mean your current partner? Yeah. Yeah, but then like, I think it's all based on emotions as well. Like, you can have emotions. Yeah. But... If you're unable to like regulate them in the sense like, oh, like I'm just having a period of not too nice of an emotional attraction to them. <laughs> then like you want to switch in that moment. That means I personally think that's emotionally immature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Then if you're consistently having these like, oh, doubts like over, and stuff then that's over a, time, yeah. then you have to make the logical choice. To switch. Yeah. Well, not switch, but like, yeah. I'm, I'm saying there's like, we're switching iPhones, but it's not, it's yeah. a whole different yeah. level. Yeah. You have to make the logic based on your previous yeah. 
um, doubts over time, mm-hmm. you got to realize, okay, you know what? This person actually isn't for me because yeah. of X, Y, Z. Yeah. Again, it comes to the why. What is the X, Y, Z? Yeah, yeah. Sick. So I'm getting very like invested <laughs> no, no, in this. No, no, that's right. This is the point. Invested, that's yeah. a, that's the podcast. It's supposed to be very, you're supposed to be very invested. Emotional, physical. Okay, how about physical? Cheating, yeah, hundred percent. But what if it was an accident? How does that? They're happen? drunk. Bro, like I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> That that is the that worst is the, excuse. That is the worst excuse. I also agree. The drunk thing, this is a side. This is not part of the podcast plan. But oh, right. just to, for people to know, because I used to not know this, because I told you I started drinking at twenty, yeah, yeah. and my first ex used being drunk as the re- excuse for yeah, well, yeah. cheating on me, and so I believed him because I was like, oh yeah, when oh, you're, wow. I thought when you're drunk, mm. you can't. Re- know what you're doing for everyone else who is in that boat and this happens to them you actually what happens when you do get drunk is you do the things you want more mm, like exactly. I, you actually have no filter you yeah. have no control you just start doing everything you've ever wanted to do and so that's why i'm saying yeah you're right if they did it they really wanted to do it let me just if say anything, it's there's more no of barrier a, yeah, like, yeah yeah i agree yeah if anything, they want It's a good to. test, actually, to put somebody drunk. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I don't believe in second chances for cheating as well. Case by case basis for other stuff. You're on a date, first date. It's not going well. Do you cut it off in the middle or do you wait for it to finish? It depends what kind of date. Like, let's say it's like an activity based and mm-hmm. you've got like a timer. Yeah. Like, you've got two hours left, I'd wait. Okay. Whatever, I'm coffee, against... whatever. Oh, okay, whatever. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, then I'll cut it short. 15 minutes in, you're like, eh. Uh, oh, hey, 50, like, I think it's, I think it's very, I, I think it's very screen. hard to judge um, someone in fifteen minutes. Maybe if you've like had previous conversations with them and mm-hmm. and you're like, okay, actually no, yeah, fifteen minutes. I don't know. I feel like so it's very short, but I'd give them some. I'd give them time a day. I'd ask the right questions, mm-hmm. and if I feel like okay, no, it's not a match. Yeah, I'd just be like, yeah, um, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, this, have you ever done that? So I actually went on a date, I literally about a month ago, okay, or three weeks ago, with this girl from Canada that mm-hmm. came to England, mm-hmm. um, and yeah, she was just telling me like I don't know, just like how she wants to move there or whatever, mm-hmm. and like I just knew like when I was it probably was like an hour into it, mm-hmm. um, I just knew like nah, mm. n- not really, um, but I stayed for like three hours because. No, because to be honest, like in that situation, like she's brand new to the city. Oh yeah, yeah. She's sense. visiting. Yeah, and I didn't, I didn't even know she was visiting. But yeah, I didn't, oh. I didn't even want to be the li- like. I don't know if she was someone that lives in London, like lives in London. Yeah, I'd be like, okay, you know what? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go home, but whatever. So mm-hmm. I haven't done that to that person, obviously. Mm. Uh, have I done it before? I don't think so. To be honest, I do try and screen, like if there. are okay to go on dates with i think the process which i do is pretty good the calling one either the, yeah the calling yeah. um really helps yeah and uh, the voice messages yeah okay fair you did tell me about that you already know this but and you guys know this already when i don't like the first date i have my way out but i don't ever oh, yeah. say it to the face yeah yeah i have my my roommate's that's locked the most, out yeah but that's Shit. the most co- common thing you know that it's the most no, like it's, it's so not, obvious we've talked about this it's not no the maybe most in london we, we always use that we don't well i'm in america is it okay it. to date a friend's ex um i think it's yes and no okay um yes <laughs> why and no why i think oh, it's so difficult actually I'm more leaning towards no. Okay. I, yeah, I'm going to say no, not even yes. Yeah, I'm going to say Okay. No. Yeah, and b- only because I've been in that situation. My answer to this is you can if... Yeah, these are things that you should consider in order to say yes or no. Because I'm still also on the fence. So it's like, how long did they date for? How long has it been since they dated? What's the relationship? And actually approaching the friend first. Before yeah, you, you should it. ask your friend first. And then, yeah, seeing the relationship that they have now. Yeah, like, yeah. are they chill with each other? Or is it, like, toxic between them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's like, a very good point. Like, if they are uncomfortable with them being in the room with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great point. That's Yikes. Great point. Last two. Okay. What do you think is the most important quality or, like, characteristic that a person should have? I think it's transparency. Like, somebody who's communicative? 
Yes. Okay. Like someone is honest. Okay. But I think it's only I say that is because of previous experiences. For me, that's probably led me to think that. Okay. What well, What do you think? I think somebody who's considerate. Considerate. Consideration, because I think. But I define consideration. Being very aware of the per, like looking out for that person, being mm-hmm. aware, and I think it's like part of the Asian culture. It's like not about me, me. It's like yeah. about you, and like I. Like, I talk about this all the time. Like, I not sacrifice, but I like yeah, give, actually, yeah, like, I compromise a lot for another a very person. Considerate person. And so, yeah. I think when people don't do it to me, I feel confused because it's like, that's how I show my affection to people. Literally, everyone in my life who I care about will get that from me. That's the common thread. That's how I realized this answer. Yeah. Is I was trying to figure out why I won't be friends with certain people. Like, mm-hmm. what what is it, that thing? And that one thing that all of my friends and, like, people in my life have is they're considerate. They, like, wow. compromise for, like, yeah. me. And, like, I, sometimes it's, like... That's really... That's really no, nice. yeah, and, like, when I do it for other people, it's because I care about them. And when they... But when somebody doesn't do it back to me, it makes me question, like, do I not deserve it? So I never want to have that thought. And so I need the other person to be considerate. I think there's a valid point. Yeah. The only thing I'd say is like, I think we are all so different in the sense like giving something and expecting it as well. Yeah. It's a dangerous game. No, it is a dangerous game. But I think because I see that that's what I love from yeah. the people that I that care about. That is what you look for. And because I know how much it takes out of a person to yeah. do that, when I have someone in my life that does it back to me, it, I like value it a lot. And so I... Like, why would I not want my partner to have that? Like, this is a person I'm going to spend so much time with. Yeah, yeah, I have yeah. to say something. This is reminding me of something. I saved this TikTok because of how it, like, woke me up. Like, it was such good TikTok. Basically, it's Halsey. You know Halsey, the singer? Yeah, yeah. She was on a podcast, and she was talking about relationships. I don't know if that was the whole premise of the podcast. She did g Easy. Okay, I don't know. And they had a very bad breakup. I didn't know that. Yeah. But basically... Anyways, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the way that when I know facts about celebrities, you know nothing, and then you yeah. know the, all these celebrity facts that <laughs> I have no I idea about. Because I was obsessed with that G- G- no, G- <laughs> GEC's album in my first year of uni. Me, myself, and I. That song. I don't know. No, anyway, let's digress. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, okay, <laughs> this so. is me not being considerate. <laughs> Your point. No, no. But basically, I watched this TikTok literally a few days ago. If I look at my partner and I wouldn't want to be them. Oh, if I wouldn't want to be just like them, then like I probably shouldn't be with them. Like you should kind of really only be spending that amount of time and putting that much love and connection and vulnerability into a person. If like, you know, if you would be okay becoming them as a result, yeah, you know, you should have it in a way where you want to be that person. Yeah, and so. That's why it's like, if I get somebody who's inconsiderate, I feel like they're going to rub some bad juju, juju yeah, blood yeah, on yeah. me. Yeah, because you know that saying, like, you're the sum of the five yeah. people surrounded. Yeah, and this legit, is the this person. is the person. Yeah, I should tattoo it on my forehead. Okay, no, do that. No. Want don't to be that. you? Do not do that. <laughs> Last question. No, that was a good, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is the best, like, go-to first line to talk to somebody on an app? Like, well, you're, you to- just matched. What's the first line? Oh, right. I have a line that I use to get the match. Is it a pickup line? It's not really a pickup line. To be okay, honest. what do you say? Because I just you said, copy and paste the shit? That's tr- <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. No, it's, you're just my type. Oh, that's so boring. You're literally... And then they're, they're always the response is, like, what's your type? Like, they're always a bit confused. Like, oh, what are you into? Like, what, like, what is your type? Like, why am I my? Why am I your type? Yeah, yeah. Is it something? And is it something like my appearance? Is it something mm-hmm. this? Mm-hmm. And it's not a compliment. It's a compliment, but it's not like a direct compliment. Yeah, not. yeah, yeah. Are you anyway. an indirect complimenter? The thing is, like, I don't really know how to. I I can compliment people, but I think i struggle with complimenting them without making them uncomfortable i don't want to make them uncomfortable do you know what i mean i'd only compliment someone like really if i like really know them yeah I'm yeah, like, yeah. Oh, okay wow like you're actually like cool whatever uh, oh no that's nothing i'd say that to anyone okay but yeah, yeah. like dating up wise i think it has to be personalized yeah it does it just has to be something i that was you're... gonna say the answer to that question for me is there isn't one line mm. you have to personalize it my favorite no. way to respond 
is I like to be able to bounce off of something on a page. Yeah. So I like to go through and have something to say specific to them. Yeah. And I feel witty. Like, I feel like I sound witty. Yeah. So I'm like sick. Exactly. And that's a great point. So as a guy, just make sure it's easy for the girl to, to respond. say something. Yeah. yeah. Don't make it difficult. Guys, if, if I have to think longer than like 10 seconds about it, if it doesn't just come up to me like that, I'd like it. I just mm. like a picture. You're not getting anything. Question. Emojis or no emojis? Depends on the person that I... If they look like an emoji person, I'll give an emoji. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, do you like receiving emojis or no emojis? No emojis. No emojis. I think it's cool. Mysterious. Yeah. I do like mysterious. Okay, that's good. All right. Yeah. Okay. Like I'm attracted to mysterious people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so I do like no emojis. Okay, there we go. What's no yours? emojis. Because um, I feel like girls use emojis more. I like... When a I girl like. uses, I like when a girl uses emojis. I don't mind them. Emojis. Emojis. I've never heard emojis in a Southern accent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to cut that out. Now keep that in. You're the only one that's going to yeah. think that's funny. Everyone else is going to be like cringing do you th- in the car. Do you think I can be honest? Do you think I laugh at my own jokes? Of course. And so do I. Yeah. That but is do, a do you think they're do. funny? Like, be honest. Like, you I, actually, say, yes, I laugh. Yeah, but I don't know if like you're just laughing to be nice. No, I actually, I think you're funny. Really? Yeah, 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 I think you're funny. Wow. But there are sometimes, yes. sometimes it's too much. Do you think? Okay, tell me, explain. <laughs> sometimes you'll say, you're like, it's just Sorry, joke just, after joke after yeah, joke. Yeah, I know, I know. And I'm I like, do that a lot. I look at you and I'm like, you okay. gotta be fucking kidding me. Sorry, I'm losing I brain cells. I, I, I do, th- I, I can feel myself going, oh, I don't no, know what it is. No, but it's fun. Like, yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not a bad thing. Yeah. But it's just like, it's, I do find it funny, but then I'm like, as a joking way, it's not like I'm actually tired yeah, of it. Yeah, but it's just like, okay, that's the only time I probably wouldn't laugh. Okay, just like, like the fifth if time I actually now. thought. <laughs> yeah. if I- Anyways, thanks for listening and watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to follow or subscribe to Do and watch his videos and like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, rate the podcast, like the podcast so that you can hear more about it and share it with people. Bye. Share with your folks.